Hello my fellow geeks, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek we're going to take a look at the Solval 3D Curing Station. Now I'm going to be right up front with you, Solval sent this to me because they really liked the VAT review that I did. I love those VATs for the Anycubic Mono and they work in the Mars too, they're great. They're both great, the regular ones and then the PTFE ones both. So they said, hey you want to take a look at our Curing Station? And I said, eh, it looks kind of small, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that, but sure why not. So I didn't think I was going to actually like it and like I told him if I don't like it I just probably won't do the review because it's not right for me but I've used it for like 90% of my curing since I got it. So first I'll tell you why I didn't think I was going to like it. It doesn't have a door. The top actually comes off of it. So the top comes off and that's how you get to it and you take the top off and you put the top on and you take the top off and, and it didn't end up being as big of a deal as I thought it would. And the second part is it's kind of small but not as small as I thought it was going to be like it comes with one of these turntables so it comes with one of these tables installed and if you don't have these turntables you should really get one or two they're really handy to have around for multiple purposes one is for curing because these are actually powered by the same UV frequencies of light that we use for printing so when you're doing a curing session it will rotate based off of there's four sensors around here see those all there and it will use that light to actually turn this turntable so you don't need batteries or anything. The other thing I use it for is like just in a situation like this. You see this? This is turning. Like I should not set uncured resin in this area because my lights that I use in here must be using the same frequency of light or at least close enough that it will turn this table. So if I just set a piece here it would cure. Um, you know, interestingly, I'm going to set some of my bottles of, of uh, dirty IPA in here and see if that helps because I can't get the darn things clear, but that's another issue. What I will do is I have one of these that I just leave sitting in my printing room and I just have something sitting on top of it and I make sure it doesn't turn. If I change a light bulb, I make sure it doesn't turn. I don't want any UV light in there that might accidentally cure the resin, even a little bit. If I take the lid off of my printer, I don't want a little bit of light shining through that might just like form a skim or anything like that on it. So my one of these that's sitting in that room doesn't spin at all. But this is not about just this turntable, this is about the whole thing. So as I mentioned, I thought it was gonna be too small, but most of what I print are guys about this size. And I can fit like, six of them on this table and it ends up working really well because of a mod that I did. You see this? So I made this. It's posted on Thingiverse now. I'll uh, link it down below. I couldn't find one that was already there. So I just set this on here, set this on here, and now you can't even see him. Hold on. Now he's raised up. I did a whole video just about raising your minis and this one makes it really easy on here. So now I've got him elevated, which works really well with the main reason that I keep using this thing. This is what the inside looks like. Ooh, I'm gonna unplug that while I stick my face inside of this thing. So there's LED lights here. You see there's a mirror surface. You can see me in my pajamas. I've got a mirrored surface all around, so it's good reflections. I've got LEDs on, let's see, this side and this side. So I've got multiple banks of LEDs. There are a lot more LEDs on this than usual and on the top. So we've got the top, hello, hello. Um, we've got the LEDs on the top, which most of these units don't do. And for what I'm printing and curing, it's really handy to have lights directly facing down also. I really like the way these lights are laid out and they work really, really well, which is what made me just keep using it nonstop. Go back here for the moment. So pretty much as you can see, I, these fit really well. I can fit lots of them on here, plenty hanging off. The only thing I don't use it for is a really big unit. It won't fit under there. So for that, I have one of these turntables and just a big 60 watt UV light. I'll show you pictures of that sometime. Maybe we'll do a separate review for that. So it uses just a barrel connector that it connects on here. We'll turn it off to plug it in. And we turn it on and we have little lights here for the control panel. We can do two, four, or six minutes. Um, we can use reset, which is, it'll reset it back to two minutes. It's really useful It's as a stop button. So when you start it, you can hit reset to stop it. Two minutes actually works really well for the little minis like I had there. I will print full size tanks on here. Let's see if I can find one. There we go. This was cured inside of there. And uh, it was, I cure it usually for 
six minutes this way and then I flip it over and I cure it for six minutes this way on the elevated platform because I want to make sure the hollow part in here is fully fully cured but it works great for getting both sides it's a long cure time but there's a lot here and it's hollow and it makes it so it's really really strong I get some of it bleed through to get it onto the inside uh, it works it works really well for that and this fits inside here without any problem at all the only other issue I have with this is sometimes these buttons are really sensitive and sometimes when I'm picking it up and pulling it off look at that I am not touching the button there now I told Solval this and they don't believe me I don't they think I'm crazy because they're like oh no you have to push the button for one second for it to work but you don't look at this tell me I'm not crazy now this probably means they won't ever send me anything again because like why do you show that I'm like well because it's true look okay there I'm not touching the button see oh look four minutes six minutes it's, and it's backwards, it's like negative friction. And maybe one of you guys can tell me this and I can tell Solval what's happening because I don't know. I am not like there, I'm touching the button and it works. But it's actually on release, not pressure. So it, is it negative pressure that's pulling that up? Because I mean, I can I can start it without touching it and, and I'm not touching it. Look, I'm not touching, I swear. It may look like I am, but I'm not. Here, I want to really prove it. I just, I want somebody to believe me. Look, I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm half an inch away. Anyway, I don't let that deter me. So in summary, I ended up really liking it. I don't know if it will be my permanent, permanent solution, but I do really like it. And if you need a curing station that this is the right size for, and you don't want to build your own, and you want the turntable built in, and you want it ready to go, I literally pulled this out of the box, plugged it in, and hit cure, and I was going. I do think it's better with my riser, because you can see here, how he's raised up now, I forgot to get back to that. Now with him raised up, the bottom of him, the lights are on the bottom below him, so I will cure him in one shot. I don't have to flip him, I don't have to rotate him. It saves me a whole bunch of time because just one hit and I'm done. So if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you like this station, what you like, what you don't about it. I will eventually look at building my own, but I've got so much going on, I don't have time for that right now. I just wanna grab this and go. And until next time, remember, if you're gonna be a geek, be an elite geek. And now I get to see the problem with trying to show like rotating things. If I pause too long and I edit that out, it's gonna look weird. I mean, you're probably like, why is that thing skipping around? Is that a problem with the turntable? Like, no, the turntable works just fine. Sometimes it just takes me too long to figure out what to say, if anything, or I say it's stupid, I have to say it again, or I just ramble on, like nobody wants to hear that. They just don't wanna hear that. They just need to skip, they probably skipped the next video already. I doubt there's anybody here anymore, right?